Welcome back to Ask Chef Tony. Today we have a task, we have a, a mission. We are going to go to the fish market, collect some fish heads. They usually, most fishermen, they fillet their fish and they throw the heads away. Just recently actually, I went fishing with some friend of mine. We went out to uh, Montauk. The guy next to me had a 25 pound striper. Well, they literally just took two big slices of filet, right and left, and threw the rest away. And he went home with a Ziploc, like one gallon Ziploc, like this. He, he literally went home with this little bag. I said, wait a minute, what are you guys gonna do with, with all these heads and stuff? He said, oh, we just throw everything out. So I look at the next guy next to me and I said, would you, are you gonna keep your heads? He was like, no, what do you do with the heads? I said, what do you do with the heads? Do you mind if I, probably above a 30 pound fish, and the head was sticking out, a third of the head was sticking out out of my biggest pot in the kitchen when I boiled it. The best food out of the fish, the best meat, the best flavor comes out of the heads. So today we're gonna go get a bunch, we're gonna show you Couple of delicious things you, you can you can do with this just using the the head of the fish and of course it's very inexpensive way of having a delicious seafood dinner because uh, the, the the market will 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 sell it to you next to nothing and we'll see what we can find. My daughter' favorite part it's eating the eyes of the fish. It's very impressive. For a, especially for a 13 year old. You should try it sometime. We got to this wonderful fish market. We have to meet uh, the, ma the man that makes this whole thing possible. This Peter right here. <laughs> and. Uh, He's gonna actually explain some of uh, the things that we're gonna pick on the other side in a few minutes. I know this is not for everybody, but wonderful, I love it. I wish I could uh, cuddle in there with them. Let's go get some heads. We have, why don't you tell us, what, what do you have sure. here? Today we have a couple selections here. First we have a, a kingfish head, a blue snapper head, a blue fish, this is farm-raised salmon head, cod, and then this is wild salmon. As, as it gets colder, there's more demand for fish heads and people make a lot more soup, so that there's less, less selection right now. So, I'm gonna get some, what do I do? Do I just get one of the baskets? Put it in the bucket and then if you want, we'll clean it for you and cut it up into small pieces if you want. Beautiful. That's a deal. This is a kingfish. I'm gonna take a blue snapper. Should we, I, I guess we'll go with some, uh, some wild salmon for one of the dish. We're going to take two of those and some cod. There we go. Let's take them back there. Just um, split them in half. No problem. This way. No problem. That's so I get the exposure to everything when to make my dish. You got it. So here it is. The we we today we show we we went to this uh, fish market. We got some wonderful heads. And uh, we're gonna do several things with those heads. I picked the nice kingfish right there. I cleaned it up. Uh, I made sure that no gills are left in there. The gills are, um, contains a lot of contaminant in there. So if you leave them in, it will make the food a little bitter and not so uh, pleasant. So I removed anything that I didn't want to be there. I cleaned it, I split straight in half and we are going to marinate and grill this i'm going to put some chopped garlic uh, like a tablespoon of chopped garlic chopped parsley and this parsley is going to be burned off basically after when we grill it but I, towards the end we're going to add some fresh in the dressing of that dish we're gonna season with a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. 
we are going to put a little bit of wine and I'll put it right over the whole thing right in there and let some sit to the bottom and last a good olive oil you know I could tell you two tablespoons three tablespoons what, what really is is you look and as long as everything is coated and you're not leaving any spots that is that is the amount right there so we're going to take this cover it place it back in the refrigerator and let it sit at least let it sit for like a half an hour and then you ready to grill it now let's move on to another thing you can do with those fish heads we are going to uh, boil them to two different dishes from that we're going to create a stock and that we can use into a soup or risotto or other application like that and the actual meat we some of it we're going to turn into a salad so what we're going to do is first of all what i like to call it we're going to prepare the jacuzzi for the fish this water right now is just tap water and it's not flavored so we're going to have to flavor what we're going to do is we're going to take carrot celery onion some bay leaves and we're going to marinate the water itself now you don't have to be very very neat or you don't have to peel the carrots for example i do take the ends off because it, sometimes they do have little uh, dark marks the onion i take the ends off the onion sometimes could be you know have a little dirt even or grit but you don't even have to peel it i took whatever it was loose off i'm going to take the onion and cut it really roughly into four and put it in the water now that was a pretty large onion because i have a large pot and a lot of heads if you're doing this just with uh, let's say one or two heads of course you're going to reduce the ingredients otherwise you're going to overpower with the onion or with the rest of the vegetables and you're not going to have the the right balance between the fish and the rest as you can see here, I have the celery and the carrots. I just rinse them, not peeling or anything, because you're not really, you're gonna discard it after. It's gonna to cook to a mush and not be really. I just roughly cut it in that. Go meet the onions right there. I take, these are bay leaves, I just picked them outside. Fresh is a, it's really a different experience. So for that, I'm actually going to just throw these two in there. I'm going to add just a pinch of salt, another pinch, just a lot of water. We're going to go and get the heads that I have already cleaned and split and they've been in the refrigerator. We want the fish to stay refrigerated until the end. It's not like, uh, for example, if you had a piece of meat or filet mignon, you want to take it out earlier, get a room temperature. With fish, I prefer to keep it in the refrigerator. Okay, here we have all our wonderful heads all cleaned. You don't want too much water because if you like if I, let's say I fill this pot all the way to the top. Yes, that would be wonderful, the old fish, we navigate a little better over there. But then I, I would have like a very watery stock with not much of flavor. I actually won't further um, concentrate this later on. So I, whatever it's enough to cover the heads, whatever, whatever, you, or you, whatever you put in there. Sometime if I have, let's say I'm doing some shrimp or if I have some clams and mussels or other things on hand, I will throw some of those in there, like a, a shrimp, the peel of shrimp. Let's say you make a shrimp cocktail as an appetizer, you take all your, your peel. Whenever I get my hands on the peel of the shrimp, sometimes I just put it in a Ziploc and I put it in the freezer. When I do, next time I do this, I have some, I go get my little bag of and I threw them in there. That even further uh, brings more flavor to your stock. So now 
We are done with this. We're going to set it back in the back of the stove and let it cook. How long? It depends how much you got in there. I would say I'm going to wait about 20 minutes. I will remove all the fish heads because I want to use them in a salad and let the stock concentrate and enhance the flavors. If I didn't care and I didn't want to make, I just was really interested in making a stock, I would leave the stuff in there for like an hour or two and just to get the best out of it and then discard everything else. But I do like my salad, so we're going to do that. All right, another, another point you might want to, you might be interested in is what, what kind of heads of what kind of fish am I going to use? Is anything good? Almost have anything, and it depends on the application, but um, typically I would not pick, as you probably saw earlier, I didn't pick the bluefish head because the bluefish is a very strong fish, has a lot of uh, blood in, in the body, and, and it's very oily, very fatty. Uh, same thing with tuna. I would not take a big tuna head and make a, a stock for my dishes. Um, here, as you can see, I have a snapper, even the, the little fish, you know, even the, those little red uh, rockfish, uh, branzino head, snapper heads, uh, salmon, of course. Anything that it's kind on the mild side. Could you use a swordfish head? Why not? But try to get a pot large enough to get a swordfish <laughs> head in there. That would be kind of a challenge. Maybe we'll try that sometime. So it's been about 20 minutes here and I want to get the, the fish heads out of this stock. I'm going to scoop all of that. So you see that they are kind of falling apart, which is totally fine, because I'm going to go through it and just get the bits of the best out of it. The vegetables in there, I'm going to discard. I'm going to return the pot to the stove, and I'm going to further reduce this to intensify all the flavors. You know, I'll taste the end there until I, want, I get the taste that I am expecting. We're going to taste this to see what I'm, what, at what point am I now, what, what kind of flavors I have. Hmm. It's already fantastic. Imagine we're going to reduce this another hour. We're going to have a bliss. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Now, this we're going to set until it's going to be hard to go through it with our hands right now. So we're gonna let it cool down a little bit. Take a little break, how's that? It's a good time for a beer. So here we got our kingfish. We are going to put it with the, the flash down. Now this is a big kingfish, so there you go. And there you have it. I'm going to discard the liquor that I marinated in, and I will, after it comes off, I'm going to dress with a lemon, uh, parsley, garlic, and uh, olive oil citronette right over it. And you can eat right out of the head itself, or if. Uh, or you can put on a platter and everybody picks pieces and you can give everybody a little plate of salad and you serve right on top of the salad. Alright, now that the fish heads have been uh, cooled off, I am going through it and there is not a better tool than your hands to do this job. Just picking all the goodie bites, all the fish, and I'm discarding every bone, everything else, um, even the vegetables, which are not going to be used for anything else. And, of course, we're going to have to remember to save the eyeballs because they're going to be in high demand today. 
Farm-raised salmon is always bright red, you know, orange rather. Uh, the reason for that is because they actually add coloring into the feed. This wild salmon almost turns white. You know, it is a little pinkish, but it's not a bright orange. So you know right there that this was wild caught. I'm getting towards the bottom of the pile here. This is the uh, towards the the beginning of the belly to the you know the bottom. So this is you can see it's all fat and there is a little bit of food in there. This is not bad, and actually it's loaded with omega three. If you can deal with having something more on the mushy side, and if you if you like me, you can eat this whole thing. One of the best peas the chick. The bigger the fish, the bigger is the chick. This piece, it's very tender, beautiful, super tasty. You see, you take this piece and I put those separate on the side. You see, it's all nice and white and beautiful. You know, I think I'm pretty much done with that. Although now this liquid in here, it's actually some of the most concentrated in flavor. So I, before I discard this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to strain this back into the stock with one of this. It's super fine and no particles, no bones, nothing will go through it except the liquid. And right there, I'm going to squeeze some of the flavor. And we are done with this. The, the rest of the liquid was already strained. And as you can see, has been reduced dramatically to intensify those flavors to the maximum. I'm going to taste it in a minute. And I'm going to judge if, uh, if it meets my standards. See you in a minute. So here we have it. What? What you can do with those fish heads? Most people actually throw them out. Most people don't want to know anything about it. But look what we accomplished with those fish heads. We finally accomplished all our dishes. We made the salad. We, we, we used all the, the meat of the fish heads and served over wild arugula we served a little tomato a little tomato salad on the side it's garnished with some uh, balsamic glaze we made the stock it's concentrated by now it was reduced by at least 25 percent we have the grilled kingfish head which i can wait to get to it